In this video, I'm going to be installing this air assist system on this K40 Chinese laser cutter. An air assist is super helpful in cutting through different materials like wood and acrylic. If you're cutting through acrylic, it'll keep the plastic from melting and kind of melting back together. And if you're cutting wood, it'll keep the flame away because you know when it starts flaming, it makes your line thickness bigger, it makes your part all black. It just makes everything work much cleaner. So what I have so far is I just have like a tubing system here. I have this piece of quarter inch tube and then I did, I got the correct distance here. I'll install it like this and then that goes right into like this shark bite fitting. And then I didn't have a long enough tube here so I extended it on another black tube that comes all the way around and then comes out right here. I had to adapt it up to the correct size. This is a quarter inch, or not a quarter inch, it's the same thread that all of your quick connect fittings are for the air compressor. So I can put a quick connect fitting on here. What, what I'm gonna do is put a male connector on this end and I'll have a hole drilled through here. So then this will be sticking out and then I can just take my fitting and snap it right on with my air hose. So that's the system I have so far. So let's go ahead and just put the air assist on. I also have a little rubber O-ring up here because it doesn't seal perfectly and that's important. You get a lot more pressure coming out of the tip. So just tighten that up. You don't need it to be very tight. It just needs to hold it on. And then I'll just take my tube, put that in there and everything is basically set. On the air compressor side of things, we got an air regulator for the compressor. There's a few different options at Harbor Freight. This one was not the cheapest. The, they have a $5 one. We just kind of wanted to go with a little bit of a bigger one, a little bit higher quality than the really small $5 one. So you open this up. You have two fittings here that adapt. I think this is probably a half inch to the 3 8 thread. It's the standard with just about all your fittings. And then, Here's your gauge and the actual part itself. The little rubber things just kind of pop out and then this will thread right in there. And then these two adapters will also thread in there. At first I just started using this. I took a rubber air hose, put it on the end here. Whenever I squeeze this, I actually used a zip tie just to hold it down. Then it would run air into the system I didn't have a regulator on it and it didn't pop off just because the continuous airflow kept it at a pretty stable PSI, but that worked for the time being, but now it's time for a more permanent solution. When you put the Teflon tape on, you have to put it on in the way that you're gonna be threading it on so it stays on. It can be a little tricky. So we're just gonna wrap this around just like that. Make sure the hole is clear of any tape. And we'll thread this on. You can also snug everything up with a wrench just to make sure everything will seal. And at the end, we'll just take soapy water. We can spray it on here and make sure nothing is leaking out. Right where I made my mark, I'm just gonna tap here. Not too hard, just enough to make a nick where I can start. I'm gonna use this step drill so I can drill it to a 9 16th hole. You can see how this drill bit just goes from one step to the next. It's super useful on thin sheet metal like this. Just run this on the other side just to kind of deburr it a little bit. Now this hose fits right through there just how we want it. I'll put a washer on the front of the threads here, just like that, and also to make it look a little, a little bit nicer, I'm gonna clean it up on the wire wheel. I'll clean it up a little bit too on the buffing wheel. We didn't need to make this washer chrome, but it sure looks nice. And when you put that on there, that sure looks really nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some Teflon tape on this. Now we'll go ahead and put this fitting on. I snugged it up, it's nice and tight on there. Take my fitting, snap that on, and that is really nice. 
super excited about We're gonna this. put the regulator on the wall because we're having a hard time getting it to fit on the compressor. It's not sticking out far enough. We don't want it to stick out too far where we can hit it and break it and it won't spin on. So that's why there's this bracket. I have this secured onto the wall now and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this air hose here that connects to the compressor and then we have our regulated air coming out of here. Look, this hose up here and the other end is on the laser cutter. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this. Right now I have this set on five PSI and it feels pretty good. I like the amount of air coming out. I think we might be able to go a little bit more though. This is about eight PSI and I like the pressure coming out of there. I think I'll take it up to 10 though and that's pretty good. All right, I'm ready to cut. I have the air hooked up, everything's ready to go. I'm gonna cut this rack out at a speed of 50 millimeters per second. Now I have it cutting out the rack with a speed 50 millimeters per second with the air assist on. I have to do one quick pass of my part before I do the main pass. I take it at a, probably a speed three on the wood. That'll cut through it. Um, if I do the fast pass, it'll just make sure that none of my edges or lines are gonna run off the part, make sure everything's in the correct spot. So now let's go ahead and cut this. And you'll see there's no flame coming up. The air assist gets rid of all of that and it's not nearly as dirty. If I pull the air assist off, you can see there's a lot more smoke and eventually now there's that fire on there. You kinda wanna not have that. So I'll reconnect the air assist and it definitely makes a lot cleaner of a cut. Whenever the laser gets a little farther, you'll see where I took the air assist off. Right now I'm making a rack and pinion and the air assist is helping out a lot, cutting out the wood. See, I cut these without air assist and you can see all the black, it's all charred. The air assist gets rid of all of that and this is starting to come together pretty well. You can see it's cutting cleaner with the air assist. Without the air assist, you'll definitely see flames coming up. I do know that my lens is a little bit out of focus, so it's not qu cutting quite as good over here as it is over here. It cuts better over here than over here, so that means I need to adjust the mirrors a little bit, but just finished on this cut, so let's move the laser over and try it without air assist. Now we'll go ahead and try it without the air assist. Speed 3, 100%. You can just see that flame there. I don't even like the flame there. I think it might melt the tip of the air assist, so I, I don't want to run it too long like this, but I'll try to let it finish up this cut. One thing that's keeping the flame from really blowing all the way up is we have a fan over here on the side. It's helping circulate air a little bit better, so that is helping keep the flame right off the plastic. You really can see the difference between these two cuts here. With air assist and without air assist, these two cuts are much, much different. You can see this one's much cleaner, it's not black. This one's charred and black all over. I do need to focus my laser in, so it's kind of having some problems cutting through. I'm gonna just try real quick cutting one over on this side so I can show you. We're gonna cut this with the air assist because I definitely don't like that flame. I don't want to me melt the air assist nozzle. So I'll cut this over on this side where the laser is a little bit more in focus. And we'll see how well it cuts. We got this air assist nozzle off of eBay. It came with the fitting, everything we needed except for the tube for about $13. We could have made it ourselves if we drew it in CAD and then 3D printed it, but that was a little complicated. It's just pretty easy for $13 to have the air assist in there. Now I'll just go ahead and disconnect the air assist so it's not quite as loud. I'll lift this up, see if it basically falls out. Whenever you have it on the side where the laser is more in focus, this just kind of pops out and that cut out really nicely. The surface here is clean, it made a clean cut, and it definitely would not do that without the air assist. You can just see a big difference between with air assist and without air assist. There's definitely a big difference.